this week's edition of She Finds 101, I'm going to show you how to tuck in five different shirts four different ways. I tuck in my shirt all the time, no matter what type of a shirt it is. It could be a sweatshirt like this, a button up, a silk top. Uh, I love tucking my shirt in, so I'm going to show you the four different ways that I like to do it. So we're going to start off with the front tuck. Um, I definitely recommend doing a front tuck when you're wearing a heavier knit or a textured top because if you tuck in the entire thing, you may look a little balloony um, and you definitely want to look as slim as you can. So you should definitely try the front tuck. Um, and for people that never knew you can tuck in a sweatshirt, you absolutely can. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So I'll untuck and then we'll retuck. I'm wearing tight jeans today, so I will be unbuttoning my top button to give myself a little more space. Maybe I'll get some of the sides, tuck it in, then I'm going to button my button, and then I'm going to pull, pull it out a little bit so the blouse is over nicely. And that's really all there is to this one. And it, believe it or not, it looks cool with a knit and a heavy knit. You don't have to leave them hanging out. They have a cool tucked in in the front. I love to steal my husband's t-shirts, but they look ridiculous when I just leave them hanging out like this. Who leaves the house like that? So, I have to tuck them in. How do I like to tuck them in, you ask? I like to do the half tuck. So, for the half tuck, what you want to do is you can tuck your entire shirt in, really. That's how I like to do it. You can even unbutton your button if you're wearing tight jeans again, like me. Tuck it in, all the way around, button your button, and then you just start to pull the t-shirt out, and then you like, you know, pull it out on one of the sides, until you feel like it looks nice and relaxed. So I like to tuck my husband's t-shirts into something tighter, like a skinny jean. Um, but you can really tuck your man's t-shirt into his jeans if you want to borrow them, so there's no mistakes with this one. Sometimes I like to steal my husband's button-ups, but unless I'm going to leave the house without pants on, I definitely have to tuck these in. And the half tuck works for oversized button-ups as well. Only I definitely recommend you do a slimmer pant on the bottom to avoid looking frumpy. So I'm going to show you how to really rock your man's shirt with the half tuck and it requires more than just tucking. So pay attention. So first I'm gonna tuck it in all the way. Oh, important tip, sorry guys. Definitely unbutton your bottom button when you're doing this um, because when you start to pull it out, you wanna be able to pull out one side completely and you want it to just look very natural. So tuck in your shirt all the way around again. in your jeans, then start to pull the shirt out from your jeans, and then you can pull that aside again. And then I like to cuff, roll the sleeves all the way up. roll one sleeve, button the other one. I think it looks the coolest if you roll, you know, both sleeves up, one messy, and then of course finish by popping that collar. You can even unbutton another button if you feel like being a little more daring. Wear a cute black lacy bra, and you're good to go. High-waisted jeans, especially high-waisted mom jeans, are making a huge comeback. I'm sure you guys know that and they're definitely not that easy to make look flattering. So if you are gonna rock the mom jeans, I'm a huge fan, you should definitely rock them with a clean, classic, tucked in white t-shirt like they did back in the 90s. Cindy Crawford was a big jeans and a white t-shirt girl. Um, so that would be my muse for this one. But definitely make sure that you have something not so oversized so it doesn't look messy and so you can see that waistline. So. You can unbutton the top button, 
tuck your t-shirt in all around as neatly as you can. Make sure that you're using a t-shirt that's not too long because you don't want to see that bulkiness in the, in the backside region. You know, something semi-fitted. Et voila! I'm a big proponent for silk tops and I think every woman needs to own at least one white silk top. Um, and you can totally leave it untucked and hanging out like that. Or you can tuck it in just classically um, with your boyfriend jeans, with your skinny jeans, with your trousers. But I like the way that a silk top looks most when it's fully tucked in. So what you're going to do is Tuck it in all the way around and then just pull pull it out. You know, even maybe lift your arms a little to get the right amount out. Maybe you wanna cuff one sleeve. Maybe you wanna unbutton one sleeve. But this is definitely the most polished way to wear your silk shirts. Thanks for watching. For more, check out our YouTube channel, She Finds Media. Catch you later.